Hey guys, on the teardown table today we have the fresh release IKEA Timmerflotte uh, humidity and temperature sensor. This, like the all new release products, is matter compatible, meaning that you don't need an IKEA hub in order to use them. Uh, actually, you don't probably don't even need a hub because it also offers a readout straight on the um, casing of the product on the built-in display. Um, but if you want to use it in your smart home, uh, for example, if you have a HomePod, you can connect uh, and pair it directly to the HomePod. So, um, this unit here is made in China, uh, unlike all the other devices which are made in Vietnam, Thailand, and so on, uh, and it's battery powered, so um, unlike the Alpstuga, this can be placed anywhere. Let's open the box. And you have this nice little disc here. Um, that is also a giant button. So the button is probably to enable the display. Of course, you wouldn't want to have a display continuously running, else it will deplete the battery very, very quickly. There is also an opening here, which is where the sensor is going to be, I think. And there's also a uh, hole here to hang it on the wall. Uh, on the back, there is the matter QR code. And if we pop it open, we reveal uh, the battery bay and actually this is the back of the PCB as you can see, so that's pretty nice. Um, you can also have a switch here for uh, degrees or Fahrenheit and a pairing button. So um, to open it up, I think it's just clipped on. So let's try that. Yes. So very, very simple construction. And there we go. So we have four screws and a small little gasket, probably to prevent light leakage. In the middle here, um, there is also the button I mentioned before, and uh, the construction is really, really simple. So there are four screws that, are hold, that hold the PCB in. I don't think it's even worth bothering removing them because um, in here, I think every component is placed on the top. Um, that would also simplify manufacturing because you don't need to flip the PCB around in order to do um, the SMT components installation. The microcontroller, I think, is the same as the Alpstuga. I will put uh, more reference in the uh, reference in the description. Um, again, the antenna is on the PCB, so that's also very simple. And they use a uh, dedicated chip for driving the single LEDs that make up the display. There's also a small uh, possibly uh, power supply you can see the, the inductor and the capacitors here and uh, that's pretty much it and all there is left is the sensor which is really tiny um, it's right here this sensor does everything um, so I, I don't know if i'll be able to get a part number on it but this does all the temperature and humidity readings um, that this thing offers. So uh, again, very, very simple construction. This unit here is extremely cheap. Um, this is just, uh, I think, seven euro 99. So that is extremely affordable considering that it also um, comes with all the radio and it's matter compatible. I don't think there's anything else that, it, that goes like not even close to um, this device here in terms of affordability. Um, we also see here that they also made some nice springs with the casing that's again to probably go along with the fact that this is a button and um, that's pretty much it we can actually try to power it on let me see if i have some batteries around because of course i didn't even think about trying it uh, first so here we have some alkalines that go in and uh, we have just a single LED on the bottom here, but I guess if I press the center one, there we go. So I can actually hear the uh, boost driver hissing. So we can actually check, let's do a little bit of uh, reverse engineering. We are, this is probably the input voltage. Yeah, 3.6 volts which is my two charge battery. This is the output voltage, which is now at uh, 3.1. If I turn it on and measure this, oh, it's still the same. So where is the output? 
because I can hear it hissing. So it's probably making a voltage that is higher than the two coin cells. Let me see once again. Huh. Maybe not. <laughs> well, I could probably um, reverse engineer it in a separate video, but it's uh, really interesting. I can definitely hear this inductor hissing. So um, there's definitely something else going on here. Um, and if we put the top cover back on, which is this way, they also made a um, little channel here for the front light of this sensor as well. So this goes on like this. You can now see the uh, pulsating white light. And if I push it, there it is. So it's also not easy, not easy to read right now. So this is a quick first look and tear down at the IKEA Timer Flotte. Uh, let me know if uh, we should reverse engineer it. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you later. Bye.